So here we have a rectangular piece of white paper. This is just regular printer paper or copy paper or whatever kind of paper you have. But it's easiest to make sure that the paper is thinner rather than thicker because we're going to be folding this a few times. And the more times we fold it, if you have thicker paper, it's going to get a little tricky to cut. So that's why I'm using some thinner um, paper so that it's easier to cut. I need to turn this into a square. So I'm going to fold it up so that the edges are matching, crease it, and then I need to cut that part off. And then when I open it back up, I will have a square. There we go, I have a square. But I need to fold it back up into a triangle to get my icicle started. So I'm folding it again, and then I'm gonna fold it a second time so that I have a smaller triangle. All right, from here, you wanna turn it so that the long edge is vertical or up and down. If you have it turned like this and the long edge or the long side is diagonal, you do not have it facing the right way. This is important because if you have it facing this way, your lines are gonna be a little bit off. So we want it to be vertical so that the long edge is on the side or vertical up and down, okay? So from here, I'm going to draw my lines. You only need a small handful of lines and you wanna start along the bottom edge here and draw a straight line that goes up. So I'm just gonna start um, at the point, draw a line that goes up, but does not come to the end, to the edge of that, that side. So I'm gonna draw another one, and this one's gonna be a little bit longer. Another one, I think I'll do three. Make it nice and easy to start out. Okay, so I have three lines here and now what I'm going to do is cut along those lines. It's really important to remember not to go through the edge of the paper. You want to stop at that fold so that your icicle doesn't fall apart. Okay, so now I'm ready to open it up do this carefully and slowly, a little bit at a time. Straightening it out, flattening it out. Press, make sure that it's flat so it's easier to work with. Okay, so now we're ready to start forming the three-dimensional part of the icicle sculpture. So I'm gonna use some tape. You can use a stapler for this part or some tape. I like using tape because it's clear. That way you won't see it hanging on the icicle when you hang it up. So I'm gonna get a piece of tape ready. And what I'm gonna do is take my center pieces and curl them around not folding, I'm curling it so that it is round, see that it's rounded. And then I'm going to put a piece of tape on those two parts that come together so that they stay together. And there's my first part. Now what I'm going to do is skip the second one and go to the third one. I'm gonna do the same thing. Bring the two ends together like that so that it curls around. Use your tape. If it's tricky, you might need to get a buddy to help you out with the tape and secure it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this over and do the same thing on the other side so that the curls are alternating. I'm going to take this one Curl it back so that they are touching. Get your tape. And then my last one, curl it back and around. Make 
make sure that they are joined together. Put a piece of tape on there. Now this one's really big, so I could probably fit two pieces of tape on there. And there we go. Now from here, you can use a hole puncher, punch a little hole on the top, put some string through there or some yarn and hang it up. So there is our 3D icicle paper sculpture.